How you doing YouTube? This is Chris Mizo here with another video about Xbox Series S or X controller. I picked up this Xbox Series S or X controller, whichever you would like to call it, and it, it is in shock blue. And I'm very excited to unbox it for you guys because I uh, haven't really touched a new controller since the Xbox 360. Personally, I'm gonna feel for it and see what I think, and I will make sure to review it and I will compare it to both in my future content later. I am excited to share this Xbox Series X unboxing so you can see exactly what entails inside of this box. I'm very excited to announce that I will be doing a free giveaway to the fan bam. And I just wanna personally thank everybody that made this possible. It wouldn't really be possible without you guys. I wouldn't be able to even do this kind of giveaway if it wasn't for the fan bam who was around this channel. I will be explaining all the details for that free giveaway very shortly and make sure you stay tuned and watch the whole video how you can enter this free giveaway and you will find out very shortly what I will be giving away. To everyone who found this content very useful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and everyone who wants to join this big wonderful fan bam and enjoys and loves talking about tech, talking about PCs, about gaming, we talk about all sorts of stuff, make sure you go down and hit that subscribe button. But Let's get straight into it. I do know it has some new features over the Xbox Series One controller. And I do know the fitment's a little bit different. And I'm excited to see what is in this. Now, it does feature a Bluetooth feature, which is a really nice thing. I do know. I will make sure to show you how to set this up after this gets unboxed on your PC if you're interested in knowing exactly how you can do that. And it's really not hard, it's really easy, especially with um, the technology that we have now compared to how it was for 360 where you needed a receiver and everything. But I'll show you exactly how you can hook it up. Got to get rid of that little sticker up in the front. It is, um, as you open, it kind of opens up like, uh, kind of like a shoe box. So we'll open this up and that is the display for the Xbox Series S controller. It is very beautiful looking. It is elegant and I will show it closer to you guys so you can have a look. And it definitely looks a lot different. I'm so used to seeing it with this big back, you know, like how the 360s have. And I will make a comparison video for you guys um, in future upcoming content for sure. So you can see the difference between the two. And I'm definitely excited to game on this to see how it feels. But uh, as you notice right off the bat on this Xbox Series X controller, it does have a share button on there. I do know the Xbox uh, One controller does not have that feature. It is a really awesome feature. If you wanna share it with your friends or your family or anybody you just wanna have, have some bragging rights, that is a wonderful button to have. Um, it does feel noticeably smaller. The joysticks are noticeably smaller as well compared to what I was used to. And it feels really nice and it has this really nice grip texture on there. Now the back has those adaptive triggers on there. The wonderful thing about adaptive triggers is that it's really great on racing games because you're able to adjust the speed. Like you can slow down and then you could speed up all of a sudden. And I was just discussing this with one of my boys. You have to get used to it like if you plan to use this on shooter type of games. Of course most of us PC gamers will not use a controller when we play a shooter. Well, we will be using a keyboard and a mouse. Charging port's right up there and it looks like it's USB-C. Hopefully this is a very worthy upgrade if I'm retiring my 360 controller because I've had that thing for probably about, let me see, probably about 10 years at least. It does not feature a rechargeable battery with their controller. You can buy that separately, of course, where it's a rechargeable battery and it comes with USB-C to USB to where you can actually charge it. And there's gonna be a couple things that you will need for your PC. 
If your PC does not feature Bluetooth, uh, more than likely you will not be able to hook it up through there wirelessly unless you get a Bluetooth adapter, which is uh, really affordable now. I'll put a link down below if you don't have a Bluetooth adapter, you can get one really cheap nowadays. It looks like it does come with batteries, which is nice which is a nice feature here. Um, of course, you gotta put these put these in. Looks like they give you some Duracell batteries. So it's, the back looks like it kinda just slides open just like this. And once you slide it open, that's simple. You can put the batteries right in. Kinda twist these out of its plastic. And make sure you stay tuned for the giveaway to see exactly what I will be giving out. I really, really appreciate it because without you, fam bam, I would not be able to share these kind of videos with you. And I love sharing with you guys. If you there's anything that you guys would like to see, just let me know in the comments down below. Because I listen to everybody and I love to hear what you have to say. So, your voice does matter, no matter what. Okay, so the batteries are in. I do notice the weight difference, of course, and it still feels nice, it feels really balanced. Also, it does come with a menu here of how a quick start guide. And of course, they got the limited warranty, paperwork work, if you like to keep that and they give you some sort of code. It looks like they give you a game pass and let's hook it up to the PC. Uh, I will show you exactly how you can do that. All right guys, so the very first thing you gotta do is when you get on your PC, you wanna go and check your updates because it's super important to have that because in order for you to be able to play your Xbox Series X controller, you will need to update your windows so in order for your xbox series x controller to work properly you just got to make sure that your uh, windows is up to date for example if your version is 2004 they have a build for that new update and it tells you exactly which build it is so you want to make sure that you have your windows fully up to date otherwise your controller will not work it will not recognize it, it will not be playable. The next step you have to do is, is you go to the windows and you type blue, and you'll go to Bluetooth and other device settings. Before you get started to add your Bluetooth device, make sure you have your Xbox Series X controller ready and you're gonna hold down this Xbox button. Hold it until it start, and for about three seconds or so, it should start blinking. Once it does, click add a Bluetooth device. Go to Bluetooth. Make sure you hold the three syncing buttons up on the top here and it'll start blinking. You'll see it come up as Xbox wireless controller. Mine says 4416. And now it's ready to go. And it looks like it just popped up as this is 100%. Make sure you go here and you're gonna have to go to the Microsoft Store and because these controllers actually require updates on its own. So make sure you go here and type in Xbox Accessory. And once that pops up, make sure you, it should come up as install. And then once it's installed, you could click launch. Now, in order for you to update your controller, you have to make sure you plug it via USB. You want to check if it has any updates. It looks like there's an update required. So we're going to update it. We're going to continue. And we'll make sure that the USB does not detach from itself. So it looks like it is finished updating. All you have to do is click next. And it's up to you if you want to set up your controller. So what we'll do is we'll run a slight test. I'm going to turn, go into Shenmue 3 and we're going to see exactly how it works. So hopefully it works good and hopefully it immediately detects the Xbox controller. Okay. 
who's a big fan of Shenmue. Because I definitely am. I was waiting for this release, and I still can't believe I haven't completed it. Looks like it's working great. That's all it takes to install a Xbox Series X controller. As easy like that. Of course, it's a little bit of a pain to go through updates and downloading accessories, but to ensure full compatibility, you want to make sure to do that. Are you ready, fam bam? Guys, for the free giveaway, I'm going to tell you exactly how you can join the free giveaway to win an Xbox Series X or Xbox Series S controller. And no, it won't be this one. Of course, that's already opened. I'm going to give you a brand new Xbox Series X controller i'm about to give you the details how you can win a xbox series x controller and it could be yours but first if you like content just like this make sure to give it a thumbs up if you want to join the big wonderful fan band make sure you go down and hit that subscribe button and for all of the newest updates make sure you follow my twitter handle right here i'm excited to give this away it could be exclusively yours all you have to do is go down to the link down below and I can't thank you guys enough for being part of the fan bam. It couldn't be possible without you guys. And this is just a really simple uh, token of appreciation to you guys because I couldn't be here without you. And I will continue to strive to keep making great content and make sure don't be afraid to put a comment down below. As you guys know, I try to comment back as soon as I possibly can. And I hope one of you guys really win this Xbox Series X controller because you fam have all been awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching.